with Nanette, where we spend a few moments looking at a negative information that has the potential to help all of us change our perspective and learn to think for a change. It has been a while. And as you can tell, I am not sitting in my swing. <laughs> um, that actually was an atmosphere that tended to bother some people because I am a uh, kinesthetic uh, person, learner. And so when I am thinking, I have to move. As you can see right now, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with the being still, but at least my chair moves. And um, I am sitting in my office instead of on my swing in my master bedroom. Uh, this morning, I wanted to talk to you about something that has whew, um, there's a word that I heard um, <clears throat> um, in my spirit from on August 22nd and the word was shift 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 and I know a lot of people have been talking about that which is why I decided to do this um, anyway uh, what the Lord said was shift 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 will you stay in sync with me put the pedal to the metal and go but pay attention to the signs along the way so that you know how to steer. Um, uh, you can't afford distractions. We're going on a road trip. Ask me about the things to come concerning my sons and give me orders concerning the work of my hands. That actually comes from Isaiah 45, 11, and that is the verse that I heard. I looked it up later and, um, and wrote that out. You know, um, it's really interesting because what I felt like I was supposed to do the take five about today had to do with the two trees, and we've talked about the two trees a lot, the tree of life versus the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, um, or KGE, uh, not KGB, <laughs> KGE. Um, anyway, and um, I entitled today, Be Careful What You Consume, and I'm not talking about food, um, even though we might be talking about the two trees, are you getting, uh, are you being filled up with um, what's coming from the Lord? Whether it's during your worship time, during your prayer, prayer time, during your reading of the word, um, or are you um, consuming a lot of other stuff? Um, just because, what I wrote, uh, just because it's available, and I think about everything on the internet, everything on TV, everything on the news, just because it's available doesn't mean that you should consume it. Just because you have a whole, um, a whole box of crumbled cookies in your house doesn't mean you should consume it. Uh, the whole thing, um, you know, it, why? Because it infiltrates your being and affects you. Whether you realize it or not, it begins to, um, things are extracted from it and those things begin to flow as part of your system. Uh, wisdom and discernment actually shows us what to consume and what to reject. And the interesting thing is when Adam and Eve ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they immediately fell into, um, under this curse or this obsession of using their own knowledge to determine what was right or wrong. And what did that lead to? That has led to 
having um, people having a corner on the market of judgment. And we have become fat, obese with the fruit of that judgment. We've become obese with it. Um, right, or his righteousness and rightness are not the same thing. They are not the same thing. And, um, you know, it is not our job to uh, be the determiner of what is right or wrong um, with other people and to judge other people by that. Um, there is a difference in loving a person. Um, and a good friend of mine, Kevin Weaver, defined love as um, contending for your highest and your best, uh, no matter what. So basically, when we're standing in judgment of somebody else, that we're not doing that. We're not walking in love. And so how do we do that? We're going to talk about that for the next few times. So today, be careful what you consume. Talk to you next time. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.